Now, on this edition of Handsome Time with John Brian, I would like to speak about the next WAW event. Well, there's no real clear cut uh, contender for the championship, but that will be determined in the next exciting WAW event. Live at Sambo's, look out for it. I'll be there and you should too. And if you want to hang out with me during the show, I would prefer that you didn't. But uh, let's talk about these matches. Now it's going to be difficult talking about these matches because, well, none have been announced. So, I'm going to go ahead and play guest booker for the WAW. Uh, you know who I would book in the WAW title match? Here's what I would do. I would take the Princes of the Universe. That's right, Mike Fire, who really should be the champion anyway. And Victor Van Zandt because, well, he's from the ATX and, well, he, he is a perfect, a perfect example of what class is. They should strip Mike of the title declare it vacant, and have Mike Fire and Victor Van Zandt compete for it. Or better yet, they become co-title holders, co-champs. Wouldn't that be great for the princes of the universe to hold the, chi to hold the championship title belt? Uh, let's, I can even see the t-shirts. One's on this side holding the belt, the other one's on this side. My face right in the middle with a big smile and a thumbs up saying, I thought of this. You would buy the t-shirt, but it would look bad on you because you need to work out. It would look great on me because I'm handsome John McBride. It's called a gym. Now, most of the wrestlers don't even know what that is. I don't expect the fans to know. But hey, you're the fans. We want you to come out. Again, don't come near me, but we still appreciate you. I wouldn't say love because love is a strong word and we barely know each other. Let's say they have a Blitz title match. Uh, let's see. You know who I think should be in this match? You know who I think Danny Donovan should be putting the belt up on the line for? I think it should be that referee. I really think it should be the referee who uh, so, so poorly called the triple threat main event of the last WAW show at Sambo's. That's who I would put in there. Yeah, that blind is a bad referee. Okay, well there's really... Uh, Really nothing you can do with such poor souls like that, but the referee, what you can do is you can get some sense beat into you by Danny Donovan, the Blitz Champion. Here, and I hope you had a great St. Patty's Day weekend. I certainly did at Sambo's Bar in Waco, Texas at WAW Triple Threat. I had the opportunity to punish that Prince of all Periwinkles, Victor Van Zandt, and I certainly took some pleasure in dishing out some pain. Let's discuss the main event at Triple Threat, the three-way. As you can see, Mike Fire has no grounds for complaining because Mutt Johnson is resting on Fire's leg, and his sit-out is uneven, tilting Mutt Johnson up. So he was not pinned. Try to win the title like a real man punk. So yo, all my hellhounds, get ready and enjoy. Hellacious Hex versus Victor Bay and Saint. My name is Victor Van Zandt. I am the Lone Star of Texas. I am a prince of the universe because I was born to be a king. All right, and thank you for that introduction, Hex. I don't see why Hex, a guy like Hex, gets his own segment on this show. What did he do? What are you talking about? You have your own segment on this yeah, show. Yeah, but, you know, I don't look like I'm homeless. I mean, it's handsome John McRyan, not a hobo John McRyan. Just when do people start chanting for hobos? Is, has the unemployment rate dropped that much that we're chanting and cheering for these people? I think the fans see Hex is kind of a fun-loving hobo, and, uh, you know, they, they really seem to like him. Well... You know, he, 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 I'll give this for Hex. He's making the most of a bad situation. I mean, for a guy who hasn't taken a shower in as long as he has, he looks pretty happy.
All right, we're just about ready to go ahead and start this match, and here we go. A wrist lock applied to Hex from Victor Van Zandt. A couple of reverses there. Hex has a headlock applied. Uh, and Hex is really trying for this match. He's, re he's really trying to win. Now, they didn't announce this because he was kind of embarrassed, but he's actually fighting for a family. Oh, and a big time shoulder box from Hex right there. And yes, down to the mat goes Victor Van Zandt. The only thing he's going to eat is a knuckle sandwich from Victor Van Zandt. Oh, with the leg drop. We're going to take another look at that. And hey, that's okay. Victor can come back from this. A big time leg drop applied by Hex. Wow. What were you telling me about Hex wrestling other hobos for practice? It's not really so much for practice, it's more for a hobo dominant. You see, there's a bit of a turf war going on. Hobo dominant. Oh, and Victor Van Zandt has an interesting submission hold on on Hex at this point. And, uh, he's, he's got it locked in really well right now. And it may all be over for Hex at this point. He's, he's got him really slowed down. It's like a, like a spider is trapped a fly in his web right there. Oh, and Hex reverses it into a pit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I, that was a close one. If the ref keeps up that kind of count, he's going to be the one who's homeless. Hex will have a tag team partner. Victor Van Zandt showing his dominance. That's what I liked about Victor. I see, see he's, he's born to be a king. He's a prince of the entire universe. Not too many people can say that. Look at that. He's so gracious. He's inviting the fans into the ring. Now stop it. Big Van Zandt uh, yelling at some children right now. Just egging them off. And that shows you the kind of character this person has. Children are his target demographic. They love something about the beard. Something about him, you know, uh, not living out of his car. You know, sometimes I think you talk just to hear the sound of your own voice. And it's so nice. The crowd strongly behind Hex. Well, they're strongly behind him. Everybody loves his sob story. But the, the reality of the situation is oh. Hex just doesn't... Victor is out of his league. A big backdrop applied by Hex. And Hex may have got him on that one. Oh. Wow, you don't see that every day. And we want to take a moment here just to thank Hex once again. This is from his own personal video collection. Now, I don't know how you get a video collection at the uh, Salvation Army, but uh, apparently he has one. They get a lot of donations there. Now he's picking him up for what could possibly be the Kryptonite Crunch. Uh-oh. It looks like Victor Van Zandt has reversed it into his octopus hold. and Uh-oh. Uh Hex is in a bad situation right now. That's a tap. That's a tap. Smart move. Smart move. You'll live to be homeless another day. And Victor Van Zandt picks up the victory. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for our show tonight. I just want to thank everybody that's involved, everybody in the WAW, uh, and some John McBride, I guess, as well. And uh, don't forget, this Saturday, April 7th, we have our next live event coming to you at Sambo's Bar and Grill. You won't want to miss that. We're going to crown a new number one contender for the WAW Championship. We'll see you then.